एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू द ऑटरिंग आई एम गरिमा गर्ग एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग इन डिटेल इंडियाज इनोक्यूलेशन ड्राइव अगेंस्ट कोविड नाइन्टीन फोकसिंग मेजरली ऑन द वेस्टेज ऑफ वैक्सीन एस्पेक्ट ऑफ इट द रीजन्स द कॉजेज हाउ कैन इट बी प्रिवेंटेड एट्सेट्रा आई विल ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट द प्रिवेंटिव मेजर्स टेकन बाई द गवर्नमेंट इन ऑर्डर टू रिड्यूज द सेट वेस्टेज India started its vaccination drive which is the largest in the world on the 16th of January 2021 since then there have been total 3 well defined and regulated phases in phase 1 starting January 16 priority was given to healthcare and frontline workers in the second phase starting March 1 people above the age of 60 and people above 45 with one or more comorbidities laid down by the union health ministry were vaccinated in the third and the most important phase all above the age of 18 were made eligible to receive their doses from may 1 onwards note that india originally had two vaccine candidates homegrown covaxin manufactured by bharat biotech limited and covishield manufactured by serum institute of india using the same patent technology as astrazeneca a global uk based biopharmaceutical company in recent developments the first consignment of russian vaccine sputnik v landed in hyderabad on may 1 its administration kicking off from may 14 subsequently the second batch was received on may 16 india is expected to begin its in house production of sputnik v in july now comes the reality check a huge number of vaccine doses are being wasted by some states according to the latest data released by the union health ministry nine states and one union territory have reported higher vaccine wastage than the national average of 3.06% these include states like haryana with the highest vaccine wastage of 6.49% followed by states like rajasthan tamil nadu bihar punjab some north eastern states and the union territory of dadra and nagar haveli now the thing is that vaccine wastage is an expected and an inevitable part of any large vaccination drive but states like tamil nadu happen to show us how it can be reduced to a great extent if not completely eliminated now let's first understand the reasons of vaccine wastage before moving on to the preventive measures in unopened vials vaccine is wasted when exposed to high temperature of heat or cold upon expiry breakage during transportation or storage missing inventory and theft in open vials it is wasted due to poor vaccine administration practices by untrained vaccinators who end up drawing less number of doses say 9 from a vial note that 10 is the ideal number of doses to be extracted out of a single vial if the required number of beneficiaries do not turn up after a vial being opened the remaining doses have to be discarded within 4 to 6 hours leading to wastage contamination can be another reason of wastage but sure there are some preventive measures like training the vaccinators on how to draw exact number of doses not opening a vial if minimum 10 beneficiaries do not turn up planning the sessions well encouraging people by different means to not bail out after registering themselves and many more the government has also taken considerable steps towards it like setting a cap on vaccine wastage yes the central government urged the states to reduce vaccine wastage to less than 1% with effect from april 1 5050 policy was another step wherein vaccine manufacturers were empowered to release up to 50% of their supply to the state governments and in the open market at pre declared prices on the other hand the central government from its 50% share would allocate them free of cost to states and union territories based on number of active covid cases and performance wastage of vaccine negatively affects this criteria the implication being that the states which waste more are allotted less from the central government's fault which in turn means that that particular state will have to pay to actually procure vaccines from manufacturers rather than getting them free of cost from the central government this is supposed to incentivize the state governments to waste less the overall point is that vaccine is an elixir like precious commodity 
and the wastage of this life-giving commodity is criminal wastage as rightly put by the Delhi High Court. I would like to leave you all here on this note. I hope you found value in this video.